ChatGPT's new update allows you to actually speak your prompts. It will listen and then it will respond to you with voice. Inside of the ChatGPT app, press the three dots right here, go to settings, and right here in the middle, you'll see new features. Go in here, again, make sure you update your app. Then you'll get a pop-up to select a voice, but if you don't, you could come down here to voice, and you'll see these different voices to choose from. Hey there. I've got a really great feeling about us. Hello. I'm really excited about teaming up with you and I'm all set to dive in. And if you want to change the voice at any time, you could come back to the settings menu and change it from here. Now I have a new icon on my app right on top. So if I click it, it's going to listen in a second. If you want to pause for a while, Hold down this white circle here and you'll get to release to send mode. The pause icon in the lower left allows users to halt our conversation at any point. This can be useful for digesting information or taking breaks. As for interrupting the model, if I start going on a bit too long, just tap to interrupt button. You're right. The need to hold down a button or tap to interrupt does make the system less than ideal for hands-free operation. What is really needed is a kind of prompt or a manual send phrase that would let ChatGPT know when it heard those specific words that that is when you want to send your prompt. And you could think as long as you want to and still be hands free. Watch me bring the fire. Okay, you know what? Let's move on. You know, it sounds like, you know, you are not there yet. Uh, as an AI model, you're not quite a singer yet. So who knows that maybe in the future, you may be able to sing a song even better than human being. Who knows, right? Totally get it, Luke. You're right, as of now. My singing leaves much to be desired, but who knows what the future holds, right? Yeah. Technology is always evolving. Um, but for now, let's chat about something else. 